We're at a really critical time in terms of public understanding around climate. Um, here in the UK and, and in the US, and it's going to spread to other places because <sighs> political parties who are opposed to climate change uh, because of vested interests, you know, because of large, large companies um, that are paying people to... I it's difficult to say whether they are paying politicians to have these opinions or they're finding politicians who also believe these things and just funneling them money. Um, but those are politicians that are enjoying increasing success online because they offer simple solutions to complex problems. And we need more and more people talking about the fact that reality is complex and that we, uh, let's actually have a discussion and raise literacy around these topics. We've, we've seen it in America, obviously, and we are seeing it in the UK here with the rise of reform. It's, a, it's only going to get more important to have, those, have people influencing that discussion in the, in, in the name of complexity, in the name of science. But at the same time, we, of course, need people who are actually getting boots on the ground and developing new systems and implementing new floating offshore wind or whatever it is. Um, there are a lot of people in the world who know that this is a big problem and who want to do the right thing and to help. You don't have to do this alone. You don't have to make the decision that's optimised for the planet. You have to make the decision that's going to keep you in the game healthily for the longest time. And that means doing the thing that you are passionate about and can get up every morning and be excited to do.